Hi there, I'm Sean Rice from the International Tour of the Adams Family, and this is Living Out of Suitcases. Lately, we've had a pretty crazy schedule on the tour. Lots of traveling, lots of one-nighters, and lots and lots of cold polar vortex weather. So, I was very excited to warm up a bit and have a golden day in Richmond, Virginia. Richmond is the capital of Virginia, and since 1871 has been an independent city not part of any county. Just as its name implies, Richmond has a very rich history and is full of beautiful buildings and many historic sites. One place to visit or even stay while you're in town is the beautiful Jefferson Hotel, one of 27 hotels in the United States with both a mobile five-star and a triple-A five-diamond rating. The interior is absolutely gorgeous, and if you happen to stop by around the holidays, you're in for a treat. Just a short walk from the hotel is the Virginia War Memorial and Education Center, featuring displays of weaponry and memorabilia from all the major wars that America has been a part of, and the Shrine of Memory, which displays the names of all the Virginians killed in action from World War II, the Korean, Vietnam, and Persian Gulf Wars, which surround the memory statue in her eternal flame. Also not to be missed is the Tredegar Iron Works and Civil War Center, which served as the primary iron and artillery production factory for the Confederate States during the Civil War. There are also many great places to eat around Richmond. My favorite is the African on Main, where you can find a deli buffet-style homemade West African cuisine six days a week. They also serve a variety of homemade juices. The pineapple ginger juice will do wonders for any sore throat. Richmond is also rich in the arts, offering First Friday events at all the local galleries and many performing arts venues like the historic Landmark Theater, where you can catch Broadway touring shows like The Addams Family. Okay, so this week's tip is very simple. So simple most people overlook it. When you're living in hotels, living cheaply and healthfully can be a real big challenge. Mostly because you're at the mercy of delivery and takeout. Or are you? There are ways around letting restaurants rule your wallet on the road. One of the simplest ways is to find a way to cook in your room. And one of the simplest ways to do that is to find a way to have a microwave and refrigerator in your room. And one of the simplest ways to do that is to ask. Most hotels offer microwaves and refrigerators. Some are even in the room when you get there. But if there isn't one, simply call up and ask to have one delivered to your room. Now there are some places that will actually have the gall to charge you to have a microwave and refrigerator in your room. If that happens, tell them to suck it and head on over to Denny's. But most will be more than happy to simply deliver one to your room. Many people don't know that you can do this or feel weird about asking, but as my mama always said, you never know until you ask. Now even if the hotel doesn't offer this as an option, there's most likely a microwave at least somewhere in the building that's accessible to you. So save some dough and pick up a lean cuisine on your next time out on the road. Bookwise, this month I am turning to the soon-to-be sci-fi classic Ready Player One by Ernest Klein. I actually heard about this book in an interview with Ernest Klein on the Geek and Sundry web channel series called Sword and Laser. Here's the premise. It's about 30 years in the future. A future where natural resources like gas and oil have run out, leaving the world in a never-ending recession. A future where overpopulation and violence run rampant. A future where the whole world has turned to a virtual reality world called the Oasis to escape the awful truth about where they live. Now, the creator of the Oasis, a very Steve Jobs-like character who has a predilection for everything 80s, has died, and he has, in his will, left his fortune to the one person who can find this Easter egg, which he has hidden somewhere in the Oasis. Now, the Oasis is absolutely huge, with almost infinite number of worlds to be explored. Since then, all things 80s have come back into style. Professional Easter egg hunters spend their days exploring the Oasis, and then spend their nights brushing up on 80s trivia. Because somewhere in the Oasis, and somewhere in this 80s trivia, is going to be the Easter egg, which will let them out of the squalor in which they live, and into a life of comfort. So far, I'm really enjoying the book, um, but I am a child of the 80s, and kind of a nerd, so I do have a uh, skewed view, I guess. But um, it is a really interesting book so far, and I really am enjoying the style of it as well. Um, if you've read it, or if you plan on reading it with me, please let me know down in the comments about what your favorite things about the book are. So here we are with our Adam's love story. Yes, yeah. So this is Jesse Sharp, and this is Lexi Dorset, and um, they're a couple. Yeah. <laughs> so so tell us tell us how did you guys become a couple? 
Well, uh, we met doing the show. Lexi had to go on as Morticia. Lexi understudies Morticia and Alice and Grandma. And, uh, oh. and the first week she went on, we kind of fell in love and <laughs> happened just like that. In Appleton, Ooh. Wisconsin. Oh! oh. <laughs> okay. Okay, tell me more, tell me more. Like, did she have a car? Oh. He does. He has a Chevy Aveo. Oh, so a very stylish. Wow. Tell me more. Tell me more. Did you get very far? Yeah. Um, you know, when you're on tour. I don't think that's appropriate. Uh-huh. Our, our relationship <laughs> took a natural progression, right? Yeah. Yeah. So, so Jesse, tell us. How, shut up. Tell us how you proposed. Uh, at, uh, in Memphis, Tennessee, at a, a marquee of a theater, the Orpheum Theater in Memphis, Tennessee, I, I bought the marquee. It said, Lexi, will you marry me? And uh, it was great. It was oh. fantastic. Oh. And he hired a photographer there. Oh. And so we have all of the proposals. Photographic on. evidence. That's yes. right. That's and the date's set. You're ready to get married? Oh. August 31st. Oh, gosh. Oh, no. So tell me what time was it? Was it love at first sight? Um. Yeah, I think it was love at first sight. It was definitely lust at first sight. <laughs> oh, yeah. Tell me more, tell me more. Did she put up a fight? Yeah. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Uh, no, no fight. I, I think you're just quoting Greece. I think so. Summer dreams ripped at the seams. The height of the That's it for this week. I hope everyone has a fun and romantic Valentine's weekend with the ones they love. And if you loved what you saw here, please comment, like, subscribe, and share with your friends. That way you can join me for all of my Adam's Madcap adventures. Spoilers! We're going to Alaska soon and you don't want to miss it. Also, if you know of any fun places that we should visit in the cities that we're going to, please let me know down in the comments. Till then, TTFN! No!